Hey there, Tan here. So today I've been thinking a lot about um, coaching clients I've been working with who are struggling to do all the things. They're struggling to get ahead in their career um, with their business, um, to do amazing things. And I can see that for them, but the problem is that they think they need to be the best. And I'm here to share that you don't have to be the best to achieve your goals, to get to where you want to be. And I'm not saying to go be mediocre and just be like, blah, with what you're doing. But you don't have to be the household name brand that everybody sees and go to. Case in point, last summer, we were getting our downstairs bathroom remodeled. And we called a ton of places. We were looking at, you know, the, the names that everyone knew, the brands, the ones that had commercials, the ones that get top recommendations. And unfortunately, we weren't getting calls back or they weren't showing up to look at the work or do any of the things. So, of course, we have a list of places or people or contractors we want to work with. And as we get lower on the list, you know, we're thinking, okay, we're getting to the bottom of the barrel here. We're getting to like people that we don't know how good they are. But it ended up that the people that showed up, showed up. They weren't like the best, you know, they weren't on the tip of everybody's tongue when you're asking for recommendation, but they showed up and they did an amazing job, better than we'd even would have imagine. So what does this mean for you? This means that you don't have to be the name brand that everybody is talking about to get to where you want to be. You don't have to be the best. You just have to show up and do the work. Show up every day. Show up and be consistent. Show up and just be you. Right? Now, I'm not the best designer out there. I'm not the best tech editor either, but I still do a darn good job because I show up consistently. I show up and do the work. There are designers out there that I know is so amazing, but guess what? You'll never hear of them or you'll ever, you'll never see their work because they're not even showing up for themselves to become, you know, designers to put work out there. And I know they're great designers because I've seen how they've modified projects and I've seen how they've done different things. But the difference between those people and the people that actually do is in the doing. So like my contractors that show up and show it out and I would forever recommend them to whoever asks, you don't have to be the best. You don't have to be the top tier designer, tech editor, maker, yarn dyer, whatever. You just have to show up and do the do the work. That's it, guys.